great sunshine state of Florida. I'm actually going deeper down south Florida right now. I'm going down to Coral Gables. No, Cape Coral. Yeah, that's what it is, Cape Coral. My parents are finally moving from New York and they're moving to Cape Coral, Florida. Um, and I'm driving down to meet them at the airport. If this is your first time checking out the channel, please definitely hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the bell icon for future uploads. Give me a like, a share, a thumbs up, all that good stuff. And yeah, thanks for checking out the vids. Um, so yeah, I'm mov not moving. My parents are moving down. I'm driving down. Originally, I was supposed to fly to New York and drive my dad's truck and, my, and towing my mom's car down and they were gonna catch the plane and then they just meet me there. But with all this COVID-19 stuff, um, if I went to New York, I'd have to be quarantined. If I flew into New York, they'd want me to quarantine for 14 or 10 days and nobody got time for that. So. Watch out, vehicle stopped on shoulder ahead. Yeah, that's my uh, ways. If you're driving, if you're traveling, I think that the best app to have is Waze, along with your radar detector. Um, yeah, best way to travel, Waze, radar detector. So I'm headed down, I'm actually headed down to Tampa tonight. I'm gonna stay by my cousin house and hang out for the night and then in the morning drive to Cape Coral. They fly in in the morning and then we'll t I'll take them to their house. They bought a house like uh, three years ago. And um, so their renters are gone. So they got it all cleaned up and then, so they're moving. So as I was saying, their, um, their cars and furniture should be delivered, I think Friday. So I'm going down helping them get all that stuff squared away. I don't think my parents had moved probably in over 20 years. You know, they've always been at the same place in New York, but after all this pandemic stuff and uh, my dad was, uh, plays got knocked down in 9-11, so he said, this is time to go, finally go and enjoy life. I wish they lived closer, moved closer to me, but it is what it is. They go into the retirement community to enjoy the Florida warmer lifestyle than where I'm at. But yeah, on my way down, I'm on 75. So I was um, a car, not a car company, a car club hit me up. I met them at a meet last week. Pretty cool, um, pretty cool peeps. I like them. Um, so I'm gonna go and roll with them once I get back. I was anti-car club for about five years. Um, so what happened, I'm in an area that's predominantly military a smaller town and there was a Mopar group you know it was a bigger Mopar group for the area and one of the founders like when I came one of the founders um, he did some stickers for me and he's like hey man we have this um, car club um, we want you to join and uh, so he had printed me a sticker but this time I just got my Hellcat and it was completely uh, stock Actually, no, I had got some, those bronze wheel that I had on there, I had some bronze wheel. If I could find that uh, picture, I'll put that picture up with the bronze wheels. And um, so he made me a sticker and he put it on my windshield and I didn't think nothing of it, you know, he's one of the presidents or founding member of the car club. So we had a big car show in a different uh, city. So I drove down there, it was me and my son and my yeah, me and my son and my buddy, Josh, he went with me. And, you know, I entered a car show and then there's a bunch of Mopar. So we, all the Mopar people parked together. So I parked, I really didn't know anybody then cause I just um, moved back to the area. So I really didn't know anybody like that other than, uh, you know, like the president guy. I've seen all the other cars around, but I wasn't necessarily a member. So I had the sticker on, you know, I didn't think anything of it. I'm at a car show, the people come by, they look at the car and then they leave. And then my phone ring and it's my buddy who, you know, he makes the stickers and he did the stickers like, hey man, um, 
I'm sorry I didn't, you know, follow all the proper protocols or the rules or whatever. I didn't think it would be a problem, but somebody saw the sticker on your car and they want you to remove it right now. So I was like, instead of them coming to me, I was like, hey, this is our car club. We have these type of rules and stuff like that. Uh, could you remove the sticker? I would have been removed it. That wouldn't have been a problem. But no, they had to call somebody else who that knows me to call me to tell me to take the sticker off. So, I mean, I took the sticker off. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. radar detector didn't go off unless he's using some kind of new invisible radar and he's going the other direction anyway so Ooh. I was gonna say I think there's a guardrail but then there's those u-turn things in the with the guardrail oh well but I said my radar didn't go off so I don't think he's coming he might be going home hopefully it's like it's the end of his shift so now I'll be driving for the next 10 minutes looking in my rear view mirror, see if I see him coming. But if I go, ah, he's gonna have to go pretty fast to catch me. But yeah, so I took the sticker off and stuff like that. And then increasingly after, you know, I start working on my car, building my car, doing the wrap, you know, all kind of stuff. And then the same people, the same car club was like, hey, why don't you join our car club? You know, you can go. I was like, nah, I'm good. I'll just go, but I used to go like throughout the area. I went to all of the car shows that they went to and um, they even have their own car show and I, and I still participate in their car show, but I never joined that car club. In my mind, I was like, I'm not gonna join that car club. They went about it the wrong way. If they went about it the right way, I might've considered, but uh, in certain areas, car clubs are good. Other areas, like this area, is so small, it's like it's almost like being in high school again. People have different, you know, personalities, and they want you to do this and do that. But man, ain't nobody got time for that. I got family stuff. I got work at that time, deployments. So even with whatever um, stuff they wanted, I wouldn't be able to fulfill those commitments anyway but yeah they ask me every now and then still they still want to join the club I was like nah I'm good I'm team uh what's it called I'm team of not what's the name of that company uh, I, I forget once once it comes to me I'll let you guys know but I kind of don't remember right now team solo I don't know I don't that's not what it's called man I forget but yeah, heading down south, picking up the parents. Uh, should be a good time or not. They're gonna, I'm gonna pull my hair out, you know. <laughs> As you can see, I don't have any. But I'm glad that they're finally retiring and moving to Florida, enjoying a slower pace of life. And hopefully my dad don't get rid of his XJ Cruiser. FJ Cruiser. He has an FJ Watch Cruiser. Watch out. Vehicle stopped on shoulder ahead. Hey, wait. Stop telling me what to do, man. I, I can see the vehicle stopped ahead. Um, but, damn. Traffic's picking up. But yeah, as I said, I'm glad for them moving down. I'll see you if I'll vlog some of the stuff. My mom and dad are pretty entertaining. Oh, another. No, that's not a fuss. Ooh, false alarm. Not a fuzz. It's kind of weird now that the cops have chargers. So now you see charger headlights, you gotta be like, ooh, are they cops? Are they not cops? And then you gotta slow down it just to see, oh, it's just an all blacked out uh, charger. But also, we they here in Florida, oh, they go red eye, wide, yeah, red eye. Um, we also have a charger. The police have charger scat packs here. It's the highway patrol. <laughs> yeah, so so you gotta watch out now for chargers and challenger. I mean challenger. They got challenger um scat pack. 
highway patrol cars. And I'm sure they got the 392, well, it's a scat pack, so I'm sure they, got the, they probably have some souped up stuff on theirs. Uh, my neighbor, he's a cop, and he was telling me like they have different um, tires that's rated so they can go at a higher speed. So that's why they put those funny looking rims and change. They have, they have a certain type of like a pursuit tire um, that police cruisers run so they can run pretty fast. But yeah, I just wanted to uh, check in with you guys, let you guys know what's going on. Um, yeah, and I'll kind of see if there's anything entertaining down here to do. Where they live is just all retired people, I think. But once I get there, I'll see. I've only been down there once in like three years ago when they I went down there to help when they closed on their house. So, and all I saw at the time was old people. So, I think there might still be old people there. But again, guys, thanks for rocking with your boy Mission Flyer. As I said, uh, definitely subscribe, bell icon, future uploads, thumbs up, comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Dream, I don't know what sleep is. I got a queen, she lit me the evening. She ripe like a peach and she snapped me the snippet. You well overdue for that link up in person. Text me to fall through a murder, she wrote it. Still up with courage, you're doing a service. Pull up to the crib, I'm equipped with the brush strokes. Cut throat from the low, low, when no love goes. Women, buddy, buddy, like.